DC here. Hi guys. Well, Zurich Airport. No. Not yet actually in the, I haven't passed the uh, passport control yet. Just uh, put in my my luggage while I'm walking around. Got very close to somebody having an accident. Uh, they were coming down the escalators and uh, you have, okay. And you have actually, uh, well, that's the lady that's walking off over there. And the man that was with her. They had these two bags and they've got special uh, carts, you know, where you can put the luggage so that you can actually bring them down escalators. But she didn't put them on correctly. So what comes tumbling down the escalators in front of me, well, I was luckily not on the escalator in front of them, and luckily nobody was, because two enormous suitcases rolled all the way down, and uh, well, what I quickly did to help them uh, was get them out of the way, because uh, they were going to block and it was, you know, it was getting get ready for a real pileup. Okay, first airport experience. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, back again. So we're in the middle of the airport in uh, Zurich. So I've passed the uh, passport control and, uh, well, we always see... <laughs> why? I usually empty my pockets. I empty my pockets, put my computer, my uh, Kindle, and I forgot to take out my cell phone. So, of course, it beeped. I got a body search, yeah. Well, looks like it um, might be an interesting trip. Okay, well, let's see now. Okay, further off, there are different, different stores here and there. And, uh, yeah, I won't bring you through the stores as such, but uh, I'm just going to spend a bit of time now. Probably find a place where there's an internet corner. We'll see. Okay. Take care again. Bye-bye. You see here? Hi, guys. Well, I was telling you that strange things were happening on this flight. Um, I'm in business class. Yeah, they've got a real problem, it seems, with the computers. They weren't able to uh, make, you know, they were had to make, end up making our boarding cards manually. And, well, here I am. Basically, business class with a glass of champagne. Kind of nice. It's never happened to me to be upgraded like that freely, so to say. Wish it would happen all the time, wouldn't it? Okay. I see signing off again. I'll be back later on. Take care. Okay, so we've taken off in about two, three minutes ago.
expect them to be, as I've said many times already, to business class, but there's quite a difference. And no wonder it costs so much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we're coming down to the last courses. So here's cheese, some Bordeaux wine, and a dessert. It's a pear bread, actually, the stuff that's next to the dessert. And later on should be coffee and drinks. Oh, this is the good life, isn't it? Okay, we wish you the bit. Hi guys, I'm back again. Well, at the end of this meal, which has been actually excellent, I must say excellent, and I'm on a plane. Yeah, this is business class, if you can imagine. There's even a first class. You know what I'm worried? Is that none of you are going to be able to hear what I'm talking about. So we're finishing off with coffee and a single malt. I don't know which one. He didn't tell me. He asked me if I wanted a single malt. And I said yes. Okay. This is really fantastic. So this will be almost the fairy tale meal, isn't it? Seven uh, Swiss time, but uh, what is it? Montreal time, that is like quarter past one in the afternoon. Kansas City time, quarter past twelve, lunch time. And uh, you can tell a difference here now that we're in business class because they just brought us a snack. And for my beer loving friends, that's a Swiss beer. Nice can, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to enjoy this. By the way, the meal was certainly the first meal. The lunch meal was uh, two fingers up. Two thumbs up, I mean. Yeah. Not the middle finger. Two thumbs up. Yes. Great stuff. Okay. DC setting off. Take care.